What's going on friends? Welcome to another video here on my channel. It's been quite some time. I haven't seen you guys for quite some time. So I'm here I am with another uh, st staycation video, if you may, or another room tour I should say. Before we get started, I have uh, the timestamps listed down below in the description so you could go ahead and scrub through the video to go exactly where or what you would like to see, whether it's interior or exterior of the uh, premises, it's up to you. Everything is down below so you could scrub through or if you want to watch through the whole video, is also fine by me. So let's get started. So welcome to another video guys. Um, as everyone know, uh, COVID is still going on and now we have this Delta and the Lambda variant that is making the world go upside down. Some of us are pretty much, um, I want to say, uh, skeptical of where we want to go. So whether it's traveling abroad or actually going to stay in a hotel which Aruba is filled of them because we have beautiful white sandy beaches and beautiful palm trees cheap liquor good booze good food good atmosphere all that's all great the problem that i have with all of this is that going out you know you do have a tendency of exposing yourself to the different variants that's out there on the virus and it could be a bit a bit nasty if you get really ill. So we wanted something a bit different that is one, not at the beach with the white sandy beaches, you know, that all that nice atmosphere. So basically the hotel areas is pretty much off limits for us. Also the Airbnbs that has uh, all that lies all around the, the, the beautiful north coast of the, the island. There's tons of them out there that's beautifully uh, set inside, outside is a nice residence and all that. But we wanted something a bit different and we decided to go for something in the area of a digital detox type of mindset and my friends we found the perfect place and it's called Santa Lucia, Landhuis and Konoku. My friends place your eyes on this beautiful place that is set right in the middle of the heart of Aruba so you could basically get to whether you want to go to Natural Bridge or you want to go to San Nicolas or you want to go downtown you're right in the middle and you have easy access to go where you want wherever your heart takes you wherever your mind wants to take you you can reach there real quick so it's pretty good on top of that we was also outside of the busy roads and stuff like that so at night everything was completely quiet which was different for me whereas my house is located near a main road and it's quite busy and sometimes I do have a tendency of uh, falling asleep real quick uh, unless if I'm extremely tired but at uh, this particular place it was wow a good remedy for me I fell asleep I woke up with no noise which tricked my mind completely uh, it was really really very quiet the experience was great and I will definitely go back again so let me show you what's going on outside of the premises. On the premises, we have three bungalows, or they call them casitas, whereas each casita consists of a single master bedroom with a king-size bed, so it's basically for couples. Uh, please note that uh, no children is allowed here, so it's adults only type of lodging, if you may. Each casita comes with its own private outdoor little shower, so if you want to hit a little shower after the beach or hike, or perhaps you want to hit a shower before heading into the pool, all that's possible. There is a pool private pool that you could go ahead and have fun with there's also a little nice little area that you could sit and have your uh, lunches or dinner uh, even perhaps reading a book you just want some middle my time or should I say you just want a little bit of me time and you just sit there read a book if you may or perhaps you just want to just chill with a couple of beers there that's also possible and it's all up to you for you to decide on top of that is it's really tied in with nature and I could not really place where exactly the, the property ended so I was not really uh, encouraged to go and roam all through uh, I want to say the the woods or should I say uh, uh, the bushes or through the cacti that was there the nice thing about this whole property is that if you're coming in with like a family of let's say six it's it will be comfortable for you guys if you're coming in with a family of nine obviously someone's gonna need to crash on the couch and that might be a little uh, inconvenient but it still can work check-in was a breeze uh, check-in time was at 4 p.m. 
uh, someone met me on property and they gave me a whole walkthrough of what to expect, what uh, uh, some complimentary items as well that we could take home. All right, so let's head into the inside. Uh, inside, again, like I mentioned, that it was a master bedroom, a king-sized room that consists of a huge television. I'm not even sure how big that screen was. It could have been maybe a 70-inch or so um, I could be exaggerating but it was humongous uh, there's also a safe inside there for you bathrobes obviously a beach beach towels if you want to or pool towels if you may there's also beach chairs so if one day if you want to go to the beach there's beach chairs there for you as again beach towels as well uh, they do have some amenities or should I say a uh, couple of items that did come that I did not expect that comes with the lodge so obviously you have shampoo conditioner you do have bath gel you do have a beautiful shower inside of the uh, standard john if you may for the english or standard toilet and you do have a beautiful spacious bathroom inside there that comes with all those type of things that you would think of you would have at home so uh, needle and thread even so let's say if you do have an accident you maybe step into a, a piece of uh, thorn or gizz in your hand or so you could take that out you would, what have you you ripped your pants there's needle and thread there even what I like about that is that I didn't even think about that and some of these expensive places don't even think about that these guys did had a lot of, of small little uh, I want to say items that I was made you feel very much at home so let's just say for me the only thing that I had to bring in was basically food there was even a bag of ice there ready for us which uh, was all um, complimentary uh, there was a bottle of water there for us as well so in case if we were thirsty so we didn't really have to pay, pay attention to that and also the water there is drinkable you do have coffee machines you have a, a kettle there if you want to sanitize the water if you don't trust the water that comes out of the pipe uh, on top of that there's also utensils for the barbecue pit uh, it's a small little nice little cuisine art gas grill uh, yes, it is a gas grill, so it's e quick, easy, and easy to clean up. Non-stick trays, it's really, really, really good. Brand new, actually. Looks very brand new to me. Also in the living room, there's Wi-Fi. There's also standard cable TV. Uh, there's also another big, huge television inside of the living room. Also, there was a stove top, electrical stove top. Came with pots and pans. Unfortunately, I did not see an oven, so Baking wasn't really um, an option there. However, I did see a microwave oven that had a grill function, but we did not per se try that. So I'm thinking perhaps maybe you can roast the chicken in there, I guess. I haven't tried that for majority of the time. It was either on the electrical stove top or on the barbecue pit. And that's it, my friends, for this little video here. I would like to thank uh, Santa Lucia's crew for the hospitality and actually, um, this this was a wonderful find i will definitely go back there just for uh, a weekend again and it was i want to say i want to give it a nine out of ten stars uh <laughs> if if the if the place that came with food i would give it 10 out of 10 but obviously <laughs> you, you just can't do that you got to get your own food so i still say it's it was awesome i enjoyed the property the fact that they have a private pool barbecue pit small little, a little area for you to get gatherings that i saw also there's a little place where you could have parties it seems like a, a bar there with a little terrace awesome so it seems like you could keep events there as well which i do believe i did see on their website or when we was emailed uh, our confirmation
So yeah, friends, I want to say thank you for watching the video again. I uh, hope you enjoyed a small little virtual tour slash room tour. And yes, one last time, Santa Lucia, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. Later.